everyone. Thanks for coming back to the channel. I'm Joe Vina, the other half of Viv and Joe. People ask me all the time, hey girl, what are you doing on the weekend? And the answer is always the same working. People that don't work in the industry tend to have a pretty warped image of what they think my job is as a news reporter. I've heard all kinds of stuff, so I'm going to do my best to show you what happens in two scenarios, one on the weekend and another during the week. We're here. There are very few people who work the weekend, so we're kind of like a little family. Don't hide, Annie. This is a behind the scenes. <laughs> Behind the scenes, it's our weekend producer Barry. Matt, I brought you cookies as promised. Tawana is wonderful. She is our weekend meteorologist. This is the rest of the assignment desk. So after my daily greet, I run to the back and grab my gear. I'm what they call an MMJ, which stands for Multimedia Journalist, which means I shoot, write, and edit my stories. Make sure the microphones are in there. Get the tripod. The story I'm covering here was a forum for families that lost loved ones to homicide. So pretty emotional, and you can see some of the other stations over there. I have a live shot at 6 o'clock, so we gotta hurry. This event lasted much longer than advertised, leaving me barely 30 minutes until showtime. Mind you, I still have to edit my story. It is almost showtime. We're in the studio now. We're about to start the show. I couldn't even record what was happening before this because I was sweating. I'm surprised I don't have like stains under here. <laughs> Today, Jabina, what did they have to say? And Talia, we heard from a council member, former LMPD. Here's a look at what's happening in the studio while the show's going on. There's the prompter and the audio booth. So now it's time to edit the package. Have a memory card here. Eddie Ace is what we edit on. It's this timeline, that's a guy that was speaking today. And then this is all my video over here. So I will begin editing. My producer has to approve the story I write and when she does, I can track it in the audio booth. Then I do my makeup for the 11 o'clock show. 11.44 and the 11 o'clock news has not started yet because of football. Time is 11.57, we haven't started yet. We'll probably start by midnight. We'll do this all over again tomorrow. So I'll bring you back to show you what it's like on the weekday because it's not as empty. Um, one of the great things about working with WAVE is we do a lot of community service. So this morning I am on the way to um, the Angel Tree distribution um, for kids that need uh, gifts this Christmas. Um, again, you guys will probably be watching this after Christmas, but right now it's still before Christmas. When we get During the week, we start every day with a meeting so we can pick the stories we're going to cover. Then I'll start making calls to see who I can interview for the story. And sometimes it's quick, sometimes it takes a while. Today, our photographer Daniel and I are covering a protest in southern Indiana. So Daniel and I just got to the parking lot of our station and I got a phone call from our executive producer saying that there was a shooting near the University of Louisville. So that's where we are now. We just got pulled off the story we were on and sent out here. Um, there's a whole crime scene that stretches down there. This is a campus building here. I was just talking with the student that came down, so I walked across the street. And there's Daniel. A lot of times we work through dinner, so there's Daniel's Wendy's sitting on the dashboard of the car. When we got back, I ate dinner at my desk and wrote the protest and shooting stories. Then we ran back out the door to go live in front of the hospital where the shooting victim was recovering. Rushed here to University Hospital. Police say he's going to be okay. So there it is. Those were two fairly mild days. I wish I could show you everything. It's really hard to film with two cameras, as you saw. I'm an MMJ. So if you have any questions about reporting or if you have any story ideas, because I'm always taking story ideas, make sure to comment below and always like and subscribe. See you next time.